Well, I officially have a driving lawnmower. It took a little bit of time, but it goes forward, backwards, left, right. Drives great, tows quite a bit of weight. And I actually ended up doing something a little different. I have a friend who um, uses these same kinds of motors and controllers and batteries for his company. And so I ended up being able to buy some things off him and that made the project way easier. So I'll step you through what I used and how I did it. First, under here you can see an 800 watt or so, uh, 24 volt trans axle. Has a brake, you can see right here, this is the brake on it, the electronic brake. Um, so it stays, it automatically turns on when I'm stopped and things like that. I'll show what I got here. So what I got here is, here's my key, turn on, the light comes on, battery indicator comes on. I've got forward, and I can go forward. So I got that forward, and then this you can just switch to reverse, just like that button right there. Now it's back, and so I'll go reverse. And this switch up here is actually a high and low setting. So if I'm cutting grass or doing something where I need lower speed, go to low. If I'm just trying to get back to the garage or whatever, kick it into high gear, towing something around. So that's really nice. That's really all the features there are. It's not that complicated. I'm gonna end up putting for when I have my blade, I'll have kind of like the speed of my um, mower deck right there. Um, obviously, I'm gonna wire it up and set it up just like a regular old tractor lawnmower. I'm going to put a plow on it for the winter. That's gonna be another project. And just so you sh to show you how I control this right now, I have only a throttle from like an electric go-kart or like a, an electric bike kind of thing. And so I'm wanting to upgrade this for sure. I'm gonna put a foot pedal. I tr tried jimmy rigging it and welding a piece of steel on there to work, but that didn't work. And then I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about the charging port. That just plugs in. There's my charger up there. So. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it for now. Keep updates going frequently. The rest of the video, I'm just gonna kinda go through and show a um, little bit more step-by-step -step of what I've done and more details of how I did it. Give a quick look into the hood. Later on in the video, you'll see more of how I did all this wiring. But here's my charge. Just to charge the batteries, just positive and negative, and goes up into that plug. Set these two 12-volt uh, batteries up in series. And then there's my controller right there. I'll show you how I did all that. I will leave links in the description to where you can buy uh, similar types of products, but really you should just look on um, AliExpress, uh, or if you're in the U.S., or you could also look on Alibaba, places like that. Uh, you can also pull these, pull these types of transaxles out of um, floor sweepers, things things of that sort, something that uses a really strong um, electric motor. Typically, they will have something like this inside them. Anyway, so this is what I ended up using, and it went in really, really well. I did have to weld these brackets on, and I used these two motor mounts, or this these axle mounts that my buddy let me use, uh, really gave to me. I purchased all this from him. And then, as well, the batteries. The motor controller was a Curtis. Uh, you can see there in the image. It came pre-programmed for me. And all I really had to do was figure out the wiring. And I looked up the documentation on this and you can see where I had to take, there's um, brake controller, there's acceleration reverse, uh, high, low switching and all that type of stuff. So I had to figure out all that 
And with the help of my friend who's programmed these before, I was able to get all the right pins and stuff. But if I were to do this again, I think I'd choose a different motor controller because using this motor controller specifically, you have to buy a very expensive programmer to program this. And I would love to have something that I could use and program myself instead of having to rely on somebody else to program it for me. I think the programmer is like $500 or something in that range. So as you can tell, one of the first things I actually had to do was get all this wiring figured out. And so I used these little alligator clamps as you see here in the video, and I connected them to the, the right um, pins on the motor controller, and then, you know, to the battery and or to the switches, to the battery indicator light, to the on off switch, you know, the key. So I just, I got it all figured out. There was like two or three pins that I wasn't positive on and had to reverse some of them. Uh, the throttle I had to kind of, there, there's three pins coming out of the throttle and I had to, you know, switch all three of them until I got the ones, the right order, um, things like that. So there's a lot of trial and error that goes along with this, but that's half the fun of building something from your garage, right? simple um, this is a throttle for a like an electric scooter kind of thing I have a pedal that I got off Amazon for really cheap from China and I couldn't, it's even got Chinese writing on it I couldn't get it to work but I'm hopeful that I can get it to work still because I want some kind of a foot pedal I don't necessarily want to be using this as my controller so I don't know we're still working on that but again I have it all wired up with alligator clamps I've wired these switches for reverse and obviously you know switch that back and then you got forward so that's looking pretty good getting everything wired up tonight Once I figured out all my wiring, I used just bullet connectors to connect the wires. So I had, basically I just connected everything and cut the wire in half and then used the, bullet, the alligator clamps, got everything right, and then used bullet connectors to connect everything back together. Um, that's what you can see me doing here. It worked out really well. I've never had any issues uh, since driving it around with any kind of faulty wiring. Um, I know the best thing to do would be to completely replace all the wires and get fresh wires running through. And maybe I'll do that sometime in the future, but for now, bullet connectors have been working great for me. Well, it's been a big process. I stripped it down, um, repainted, rebuilt, and it turned out really well. I even built this little lawnmower trailer for myself. And as of right now, because I don't have the mowing deck set up, really it's been used just for towing this little trailer around I built. I uh, welded it all together and it's been awesome. I put a bunch of new rock in, uh, in the flower beds and stuff, and it was way better than using a wheelbarrow, I'll tell you that much. And this thing has so much torque, it's insane. It's only 24 volts, um, but the amount of torque this thing has is, is unreal. And I can tow quite a bit of rock, more than I think I'd even fit in a wheelbarrow, and I don't even have to break my back to do it. So all in all, I'm sitting at about maybe four to $500 in this project uh, with the batteries. I think the batteries cost me around 100, you know, motors and speed controllers and all that kind of stuff, switches, odds and ends. And I did have to buy two new front tires and eventually I'll have to buy two new back tires. So regular maintenance kind of things for uh, these types of lawn tractors. But I've really enjoyed it. Love having it. And I'm going to come out with more videos about things I've done with it. Again, I'd like to get a snowplow for it in the winter. And so subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell. 
you'll be notified when these next videos come out. I don't upload all the time to YouTube, but I really do enjoy just sharing the projects I'm doing at home. I thought, you know, might as well put them out there on the internet and see if anyone could find any use out of these and maybe just get some ideas. Really, I know this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build an electric lawnmower, but please feel free to subscribe and put down in the comments uh, questions you have, and I'll be able to get back to you and hopefully help you out a little bit. And then that way, maybe you'll be able to build your own if that's uh, something that you're interested in someday.